Hi everyone, welcome to Snetly. In today's session, we are going to discuss about configurable lookup table from Snetly library browser. It is available in logical module. In previous video, we have seen about all these block. Let me go into configurable lookup table. Here, maximum four number of digital input can be given to D0, D1, D2 and D3. And for your gate signal, you can go for gate H and gate L. Gate H will control the output pins like gate AH, BH and CH and DH. Gate L will control your AL, BL, CL and DL. Now let me go into configuration parameters. Right click over the block. Left side will be your configuration and right side will be your help window. Here the inputs are configurable like you can go with the 2 input, 3 input and 4 input. For 2 input you have 4 active states and for 3 input 8 active states and for 4 it will be 16 input. Now let me go with one example in order to clearly understand about this configurable lookup table block. Here you can see the all sensor signal of BLDC motor waveforms and this will be your 3 phase voltage source inverter and this will be your commutation table in order to excite the motor based on the all signals. Now let me go with this one. For BLDC motor, we have three signals, Hall A, Hall B and Hall C. So the binary representation we get 3 bit. So totally 8 state we will be getting from these all signals. In 8 state, 2 states will be null vector, you have 0, 0 and 1, 1. In 0, 0 state, we will get open circuit and in 1, 1 state, we will get a shoot through circuit. So remaining 6 states will be your active state. In first state has been represented 101. It will be active during 0 to 60 degree and remaining states will be active similarly for other 60 degree of interval. Here each switch will be conducting for 120 mode of operations. This is normal voltage source inverter module. In normal sign PWM methods and all, you will directly excite the switches based on the reference signal. But for BLDC as well as PMSM or SR motor, we need to know about the motor feedback, nothing but the hall signals. Based on the hall signal, we are going to excite the motor phase excitation. This block represents the commutation table for BLDC motor. Based on the hall signal, we are going to excite the phases. Here, positive represents the current entering into the particular phase and negative represent the current leaving out of phase and off means at particular phases current is been off. In first condition 110, 110 of your all signal we are going to excite phase B top switch GBH which represented here and GCL this part will be a GCL. Similarly for other states 010 we are going to go with GAL and GBH. Similarly for other all states, totally we are getting 6 states. One cycle will be 360 degree. So each switch will be conduct for 60 degree with 120 mode of operation. Based on this commutation, we are going to see the configuration window available in Snetly library window. Here we are going to see the configuration window. Right click over the block to view the configuration window. In previous we have seen that we are getting 3 signal for BLDC motor. So I am going to select my input as 3. For 3 input we are going to get 8 states. In 8 state we have seen that 2 states are null vectors 0 0 0 and 1 1 1. Here the inputs are configurable. You can go with the 2 input, 3 input, 4 input. So input will be from right to left. D0 will be your first signal hall A and D1 will be hall B and D2 will be hall C. Based on the all signal states we are going to enable the gate signal output as per the switching state. Here with the help of all signal we are going to enable the gate signal. Based on the gate signal, our faces will be excited. This all signal will get the data from the motor data sheet. This is our three phase voltage source inverter. 
and this part will be our commutation table and right side will be netly configurable lookup table configuration window so based on the commutation table we are going to enable our gate signal here h represent top switch and l represent bottom switch here all top switch connected to positive and all bottom switch are connected to the negative of your vdc so based on the gate signal turned on our switches will be conduct so respective phase will be get excited so first state gbh and gcl we should be enable the gates so for the first state 110 here all a signal have to be given to the d0 input and all b signal we have to give to d1 and all c signal to d2 and we need to calculate the input from right to left in stately configuration window these are the gate signal for a particular state we need to enable it enable it so first state 110 or 110 i need to enable my gbh and gcl here i have mentioned which is first state for you have to calculate from right to left so 110 for 110 i need to enable my bh and cl so remaining switch gate signals are turned off only for this state these two switch will be conducting for 60 degree then for second state 010 for this state i need to enable my gal and gbh so for second state 0 10 i need to enable my gal and gbh and for this state these two gate signal will be conducting for 60 degree similarly for other all signal we need to enable all the gate signals respectively and each gate will be conducting for 120 mode of operation see you can see with enabling of 1 one represented on time and zero represent the off state so two times for per cycle it is conducting so one state will be 60 degree two times mean 120 degree each gate signal is been conducting for 120 mode now let me configure the lookup table based on the commutation table now we'll change the configuration window right click the block here we go for three input state so we need to select three input for three input we will get eight state in eight state we will get only six active state and remaining two will be null state here the, our input will be from d0 d1 d2 d3 from right to left and d0 input will be given as a hall a all b will be d1 and all c will be d2 so for first is zero zero state all gate signal should be turned off and the second state here you have to look forward one zero zero for one zero zero in previous image we have seen that for one zero zero we need to enable g a h so i am enabling g a h and g c l for next this will be for one zero zero state i need to enable my g a h and g c l then for other state 0 1 0 i need to enable my g a l and g b h g a l and g b h it will be for 0 now it will be 1 1 0 for 1 1 0 i need to on g b h and g c l g b h and gcl then other state 0 0 1 for 0 0 1 we need to enable gbl and gch gbl and gch then for other state 1 0 1 for 1 0 we need to enable gbl and gah gah and gbl then for the last state 0 1 1 0 we need to on gal and gch from the gate signal you can see that only two time particular gate will be on so it is 120 mode 
apply register value back to schematic here we have now assigned the internal configuration window to give external input i am going to use on constant switch for a gate signal i am going to simply use one square pulse let me take from the waveform source let me assign the parameter value right click over the block i am going to keep 0 to 1 apply register value back to schematic i am now going to give this gate signal to the gate h and gate l now let me give the input i am now giving the input in manual mode to view the waveform i am going to take one logic analyzer now we are getting totally six output so i am connecting six output to the logic analyzer one by one fourth fifth sixth and now i have gi given the square output to gate h and gate l whatever the signal we are giving to gate h it will reflect the output of all h series and l output will be reflected from the gate l so now we are going to manually change the input states of d0 d1 d2 as a all signal 0 0 condition and 0 1 0 similarly for six active state let me run the simulation here our all signal will be 0 0 all three signals are zero so output represents 0 0 similarly for all active st 1 1 condition our output will be zero now let me go with the first state 1 1 we getting the output at third signal and sixth signal second state will be 0 1 0 0 1 0 we will get the output at second pulse and third pulse similarly for third state 0 1 1 for 0 1 1 we will get the output at second and fifth output then for 0 0 0 1 we will get the output at fourth and fifth of your gate signals then for other state 1 0 1 we will get the output at first and fourth and last state will be 1 0 0 for 1 0 0 we are getting output at 1 and 6 pin in logic analyzer which is nothing but the gate ah and gate cl terminal has been turned on based on the logic input of all signal in this video we learned about the function of configurable lookup table and the way we need to configure the configuration window with the help of all sense of feedback from the motor that's all for today's video if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section